hi guys welcome back to my channel um today we're going to talk about the accelerated bsn program for people who are interested in the nursing program in the u.s and the bsn uh, means a bachelor's of science in nursing so it's accelerated because you already have another degree that is not related to nursing and you want to go straight to uh, bsn the Bachelor of Nursing without doing associate in nursing or without doing other short courses that re that you think might require you to become a nurse in the US but it's not really relevant so in this video I will be sharing about that so thank you so much for clicking this video and subscribing and so much love and I appreciate you and also I changed my name to investing with Lucy because I want to see I want people to see the value in the name of uh, in my name so when you search about it many things pop up but I want you to know that I want people to invest in themselves whether it's the stock market whether it's your education whether it's business I'll be sharing with you exciting news about a business um, that I'm I'm do I'm trying to do here and there and stick around I will share with you everything because we are all here about we are here about for growth and to create passive income and to create like really good income so that we can quit our nine to five jobs okay and so the accelerated bsn is a program depending on any state in the u.s i'll talk about washington because that's where i know here in washington um if you are really interested in nursing and you already have a degree from home okay so the steps the following steps is how you're going to get admitted for an accelerated BSN at one of our schools, for example, University of Washington. So the process is you have a degree, yes, but people say that our schooling is not recognized here. It, that's a lie. What you're supposed to do is go to WES.org. It's called WES, Wild Evaluation Services. They are based in Canada, but they also do services for the U.S. and anyone in the, anywhere in the world to evaluate your degree to make it suitable for for or to make it equivalent for to an undergraduate degree in the U.S. Because when you're getting admitted to any school and you have another degree, they work. They actually want to see the value of your degree if it's equivalent to their own education system. So what you're going to do is go to West, do an application. You're supposed to pay different amounts uh, depending on what you want to evaluate your degree. You can evaluate the degree only. You can evaluate the courses, which is recommended, like course by course, and the price varies. It's like I think the whole. For, if you want a full package, it's like two hundred dollars. If you want just one part, it's gonna be cheaper, of course, and it will not get, give you the correct value for for this undergraduate the way you want to evaluate it so when you go to west you apply you pay the money they will do evaluation for you so one of the things they will ask you is tell your school to send you uh, to send west a sealed envelope with your transcripts whether it's official transcripts or copies of your transcripts or even the degree certificate so this is where you tell your school to send a seal, a sealed DHL or whatever carrier you're going to use to send to West because West doesn't want you to send for yourself because they know people have, um, there's a lot of fraud everywhere. So they want your school to send directly to them or they can actually email them using the school email. So one of the places you're supposed to go in your school is probably the registrar of dean or um this the faculty you are in for that undergraduate or just a teacher that well not a teacher management that you probably know ask them how how they can send your documents to west but the best person is actually the registrar because they deal with i think external communications especially for other from other organizations and that's how they'll know your documents are valid so they send to west the West will evaluate your education. They will add up um, the credit hours you took. In this case, you might not even know what 
credit hours is because our system in Kenya or different schools from other countries probably they don't use the credit system the credit hour system so west will like shrink some of the courses that you did and uh, like what and and assess it one by one with some of the courses that are offered here in this um, school in this country so they will assess it shrink all the credit hours and then they'll give you a final grade the GPA for example 3.0 or 3.8 to actually um, be um, the same as what these people here in the US get in their results in the graduation results it's not like an ABC the ABC is based on the subjects but the final grade is usually a GPA system grade that will make you will make your degree equivalent to the u.s degree okay are we together over there okay so you're telling your school to send them west will evaluate and see and then west will ask you no will send back this transcript to them actually i've missed a point when you tell your school to send the documents to west you're supposed to oh, i said you seal you either seal or stamp or sign the dean or something that relates to the school where you studied has to be seen on your documents all that you don't even have to worry it's your school to send them to west so when west does the evaluation they will send back the documents to the school to actually sign and verify and say yes this is our student and these are the documents that you, so these are the documents you guys have signed and i approve i agree then when your school is they have the results west will automatically tell you that hey we've sent all your documents to your school and they've they've approved uh of our evaluation and now it's time to send it to other schools where you're looking to apply for your accelerated bsn or any degree or any masters or any graduate program that you're interested in so what so they 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 tell you like a final say and tell you this is the this is, uh, for example, the draft or the pre preliminary results for your um, evaluated undergraduate or degree or graduate. They will, they will send you through on the system, but they will send you like a physical copy or physical evidence to show that they have verified your results, your degree. And that document is what you're going to send to other schools if they require you to send them from from you because most schools again the evaluation they require the West organization to send to them directly of course because of so many fraud okay so don't be worried and all this process is gonna cost some money but of course you're evaluating your degree for a reason okay not just for the sake of it so the school will get your results from west and that's how they're going to admit you the accelerated bsn is a program like in my in my state it's like 12 months it's intensive classwork you can you can work but it's intensive classwork where you're required to be present full time for the clinicals for the theories all these things you'll be doing within 12 months a normal bsn will take about three to four years but you're doing an accelerated BSN because you already have a degree from another school and they want to like crash you into one year and study. So the best advice for this program is that because it's nursing, you will still require your science prerequisites before you even join the BSN or you can decide to do it in the, in the local university in the US. But since it's very expensive, the prerequisites are supposed to be done in a community college. Okay, a community college will be very cheap for you, especially if you're outside. It's gonna be very cheap. It's like, like, like a hundred dollars for like um, one credit, one credit unit. It might seem a lot, but it's not a lot, cause because if you go directly to an accelerated BSN, the prerequisite they will you are going to pay the amount of school fees people pay for universities, which is almost ten, five times or ten times per unit. So at a community college, you'll be paying a um, hundred bucks, but at a college degree or university level, you'll be paying almost five times that, like 500, 600 per unit. So the best trick is to actually go to a community college, start your prerequisites, do it online. I will do a one-on-one, -on -one, like an online 
some video on how you can go to this community college and and, and apply for the for the prerequisites once you finish the prerequisites is when now you join the accelerated bsn it's going to be even shorter and much less expensive the cost for a, an accelerated bsn can be like almost fifty thousand dollars in one year you don't have that kind of debt you don't want to get into that kind of debt so start from prerequisite um, um classes at a community college and that's a video for anyone who's interested in nursing with a different degree from home and i wish you all the best so if you see it in your mind you can hold it in your hands keep chasing your greatness and i want to wish you all the very best in your education and in your life if you get here so peace and i'll see you in the next video